you kindly welcome the stage, Michael Moses. Michael! to a wedding this summer. I'm not looking forward to it. My girlfriend's in the wedding party, so she's very excited. She's like, hey, we're going to this wedding. We're in the wedding party. But she just told me the other day her ex is also going to be in the wedding party. I don't know. She looked at me. She's like, hey, my ex is in this wedding party. We're going to be spending some time together. Don't be weird about it. I was like, okay. I'm not going to be weird about it because I'm bringing my ex to this wedding too. I don't know. Not showing up by myself, that's stupid. <laughs> that was good. I'll tell you guys, uh, I'll tell you guys about uh, my girlfriend, she's uh, she's different than me because she's a man. Uh, <laughs> uh, just, saying, just saying that because uh, she owns a house. Like she came into a relationship with a house. You can own a house when you don't live in Toronto. So she owns a house. Right? Uh, she came in, she was like, first date, she was like, yo. Well, she didn't say yo, she's white. Like, but she said, uh, she said, uh, <laughs> I said, yo, she said, hey, I own a house. And I was like, yo, I got a sense of humor. You know, like that, that's what I came in with. <laughs> but she came in with the house, you know, and I, like, I was like, damn, you know what? My jokes aren't gonna keep you warm at night. Where's your house? Let's go right now, right? I got to this house and it's really cool because she bought this house really cheap and then she gutted it down to the studs and she's been renovating it herself for the last three years, taking her time, but it's, it's pretty much herself. And it's cool because I'm going over to the house when we first started dating and I'm helping her on the weekends. And I don't know how to do anything, right? But she's teaching me how to do drywall and I'm putting up walls. I'm wearing gloves like a bitch, all right? But she, she doesn't wear gloves at all. Her hands are torn to shit because of it. It looks like she has an eight-year-old man's hands. That's her hands. It looks like she just spent her time in her basement playing the game with a knife in between the fingers. That's what her hands look like. They look horrible. I looked at her hands first date. I was like, yeah, maybe never touch my dick in this relationship. That, uh, that's how bad your hands are. She, the other day she wanted to touch my dick. I was like, put on work gloves first. Because your hands are bad. <laughs> and, uh, hands are shit. Uh, but it's cool. <laughs> Cause I'm going over the house and she's teaching me how, so I'm doing drywall now, I'm learning how to put up walls, I'm doing, I'm tiling the shower, we made the shower, we tiled the shower, it was awesome, we did the electrical, but you're not supposed to do that, don't tell the gun. She, she's a gangster. Uh, so I got there one day and I'm excited because I'm like, what am I going to learn next, right? And I get there and I tell her, hey, what is, and then she just hands me a key to the front door and I go, whoa, what is this key? And then she goes, don't you want to live here now? And I was like, damn. What kind of Hansel and Greta witch are you? you know, like, I, I didn't know I was digging my own grave that whole goddamn time. She literally made me build a house with her and then asked me to move in. I was like, fine. You didn't lie, you didn't kill, you just filled me with pride. Like that is a new 2019 way to get a guy to do something. I was like, shit, like I was stuck for a second and then I was like, no, I'm not living here. And she's like, why not? And I'm like, because I built it. <laughs> In three months, it's gonna fall down any moment now. Right? You have me do the electrical, you're not even supposed to do that by yourself. It's gonna catch on fire, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that's crazy, but that's how she tries to get me to do stuff. She tries to fill me with pride, because the other day she came up to me and she goes, hey, Michael, you hear about this Colin Kaepernick guy? And I was like, yeah, two years ago. And she was like, sorry, white privilege. And I was like, okay, what about him, right? And if you don't know who Colin Kaepernick is, he's an NFL player that took the knee during the national anthem to protest police brutality against minorities, right? So my girlfriend, she knows I'm black, so she comes up to me, right? And she goes, hey Michael, you hear about this Colin Kaepernick guy? And I was like, yeah, what about him? And she's like, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to get on one knee for something you believe in, Michael. <laughs> But guess what? It ruined his life. <laughs> Just like Mary. Don't get married, dude. And I got not propose it any time soon. Get away from me. That's <laughs> cool, though. Um, so you guys, last thing. Uh, I was on the subway the other day. I saw this poster. I don't know if you guys saw this poster. It said, uh, there's 500 Algonquin wolves left. And I was like, that's enough wolves. <laughs> I was like, these wolf people need to work on their signs, man. 
If you were asking how many wolves there were in the world, I would have went 500. I would have went 30 in Canada, 30 in Russia, 6 in India, hanging out with Mowgli right now. I got 500. Whoa. Well, now you're telling me 500 is not enough in one province? I'm like, that's crazy. I have to look it up. BC has like 8,000 wolves. Ontario, we only got 500. I'm like, you gotta put that on the poster for sure. You gotta make it a battle between the provinces. <laughs> But I didn't say that, it's just a post, I'm going down the subway, and it just says, hey, there's only 500 wolves in Algonquin Park. I looked at the next dude, I was like, yo, don't go camping this summer. There's 500 wolves in Algonquin Park right now. Are you crazy? Are they in danger, or are we in danger? That's a sign by the TTC, he said, thanks for riding. Thank you, TTC. Because I don't know about you guys, if you guys are going camping this summer, I'm going, because I got a white girlfriend, so I'm going. But, uh, you know, if I get there, if I get camping, and all of a sudden I look up and I see 500 wolves at the same goddamn time, I'm not gonna look at her like, ah, you promised me 8,000, you know? Like, I'm, I'm getting the hell out of that park. Like, you guys gotta kill some wolves. 